Good evening, my name is Sabine Delon Pitsion, also known as Miss Sab of Yak Radio, event coordinator. Today we are having our fourth annual toy drive. So what the toy drive is, you know, the kids come in, they bring an unwrapped toy, and we give it to the kids at the shelter or the hospital, children of need. Not really poor children, but just children of need. Not every kid gets to celebrate Christmas, but we like to, we like to make sure and ensure that every child gets to celebrate Christmas. A lot of us as adults probably didn't get to celebrate Christmas as we would like to display Christmas to the kids. So we're very fortunate to do this every year, give the kids entertainment, a clown, pizza, just fun, pure fun for the kids all day. And we show them that we give back. My name is Miriam Oslin. I'm the CEO of Mimi Planned Events. I am here today at the fourth annual Yak Radio Toy Drive as a sponsor, sponsoring decorations, Treats, swag bags, uh, just need people to support, come out, bring toys, bring your family, bring your friends, and come and have fun. Uh, it was a couple of months back I was asked, and I said yes immediately because I love to give back. So giving back is usually the best thing around this. Well, giving back is not shouldn't be only one time a year. It should be all the time. Yeah, it's Will, man. Um, we're here, Yak Radio, Full Family Toy Drive. You know what I'm saying? Same for the kids, for the community. You know, we take that serious. So every year we do it. We um, represent for the kids. Uh, you know that that all less privilege to have what's happening. You know, growing up. Um, as a kid, I didn't have um, all this luxury, you know, the, the Jordans, the, the fire trucks. So now we, you know, we come together to create something to um, show appreciation, you know, for being blessed and everything, man. So hopefully that everybody get used to seeing us around, doing things for the community, enjoying it. Um, you know, hopefully one day that we go elsewhere to your neighborhood and um, bring joy to the kids. Hi everyone, my name is Sandy. I'm the PR for Yak Radio. Uh, we've been doing this toy drive for four years now. Uh, we've given toys to over 600 children in the New York area and this year we're hoping to give more to some children in a hospital in Queens. Yak Radio always wants to give back to the community and this is one way we felt like we could give back to children. Children are very important and um, giving back to children just makes them feel good. It makes us feel good to give back. So this is why we decided to do a toy drive and we do, we've done it for four years now and it's been a success. I'm DJ Claude, um, part of the whole Yak Radio family. It's been about four years or so. Um, this is the fourth annual toy drive. Um, great event each and every year when we come out to support the less fortunate um, with the staff, the DJs, you know, some of the people that listen to the radio as well. Always a great turnout. Um, as you can see, everybody here smiling, enjoying themselves, and um, that's what we do here, Yak Radio. Hey guys, it's your girl DJ Aritin from the Sit Down Straight on Yak Radio each and every Thursday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, this is actually my first toy drive ever being a part of, so I think it's really dope. Um, it's really nice to be a part of a team that actually cares about giving back and I, I feel like you don't find that. We, we try to give back to the hip-hop culture and we don't actually focus on our future, which are the children. So I think making sure they're well off makes, actually helps us in the long run. So shout out to Yak Radio, shout out to Clay, Sandy Kane, Lady Damage, Vixen, I love all of you guys. And thank you for letting me be a part of your team. This is DJ L Bully represent Yak Radio each and every Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Gotta let y'all know what it is. And today is all about the toy drive here, the Yak Radio year-to-year -year toy drive. This is my first year here, but we came to celebrate and uh, support all the kids, non-fortunate, by bringing this toy drive together. The kids are here, popcorn, cotton candy, we got music, and all the best out here. WC, also known as Breezy Obama. I am, I am the program director at Yak Radio, but truthfully, I don't really have to do much. Everybody wants to be on Yak already, so. It's an easy job. I think the difference is um, that every year they try to outdo themselves from the year before. Every year they try to do more for kids, give more. I'm pretty sure if people didn't come, they would still buy gifts on their own. So it's like Yak Radio just try to outdo it every time and try to give back as much as they can. We're here because we're here because we're giving toys away. 
to the hospital. We're sponsoring water. Because we're kids and they're kids. Because it, it helps kids um, drink more water instead of juice. Um, because some kids don't have toys and we should give it to them to have toys. Because some other kids have toys and some other kids don't. Uh, my name is Ace. I do a show on Yak Radio called In The Loop Radio every Sundays from 1 to 4 p.m. Uh, I'm here at the Toy Drive, you know. Definitely a good event. We've, do, we've been doing this for the past four years. This is my third year attending one. Uh, it's definitely good to give back to the kids. You know, definitely shout out to Clay. You know, he's, he's a good brother, him and Will. They put this whole Yak Radio thing together. You know, they, they brought me and my cousin on board, my cousin B Live. He, do, he calls the show with me, Big Mott. He's, he's our DJ. You know, but um, we definitely love Yak Radio, man. Uh, Yak Radio is taking over. Uh, this is a new location that we did it at. It's always good to give back to the youth, you know, to the needy. Um, the toy drive is definitely official. Definitely a nice turnout. The kids have fun. They, they, they got their dance on. They got their face painted. They ate cotton candy. Hi, my name is um, Claudie Leo Jean. Some people know me as Clay. I'm the CEO and founder of Yak Radio. Well, the reason behind the toy drive is like one time I went to a hospital and a couple, me and Will, and DJ Will, and we saw a few kids at the hospital on a Christmas Eve, and they had no family members there and no toys on Christmas Eve, so we decided to go with the toy drive to help out with the community and the less f f fortunate kids. Uh, you know what, like, you no, know, each time, it's when you go and give those toys out to those kids at those, um, at those places. That's the biggest reward, and see the happiness in, in their faces and that can bring tears to a grown man's eyes. Last year, when we did the toy drive, right, we actually went to um, shelter, and we give toys out to like over 300 kids. And I said like, you know, you know what, we have to expand this. We gotta get more people involved. We have to get more media coverage. Why? Because it's not something that we're doing, like, you know, to satisfy ourselves alone, but we see how we're helping kids out there. That's why we wanna make it uh, bigger and better. Okay, the future for Yak Radio, right now, as you guys can see, Yak Radio is really based, it's a base community radio station. So like, you know, anything that, that we do in the community, we support like, you know, local businesses, uh, local artists, people, artists that don't have the, the chance to be on the mainstream radio. So we provide that platform for them. Even local businesses, like, you know, Tonel, for example, like, you know, um, this is the, the best platform for them to uh, promote their business. So like, you know, it's a community base. We don't, we don't really charge anybody for it. We just want to bring aware of, you know, the community owned businesses. To give you a history of Yak Radio, to be honest with you, like, you know, this is an idea that we, uh, we came up, actually me and a couple of my guys, we came across that like back in 2008. Reason being because we had an album we actually produced and we couldn't get no mainstream radio station to play any song on the album. So I said, you know, one day, like, you know what? Why don't we just start our own radio station? So we did all the research, and then in 2010, March 5th of 2010, we launched Yak Radio. And almost seven years later, we're here, still, growing. And we make sure that we license everything we do, like, you no, know, we um, do it um, to ensure, like, you no, know, this is a, a proper business um, that's actually being run in the community, like, you no, know, if somebody come to Yak Radio, they don't have to worry about like no FCC, like no going after them. So um, that's why it's so important to have a community-based radio station because a lot of businesses in the community, a lot of local artists, they don't have that platform. Like no, they cannot just go. For example, I don't want to name any bigger station in the Tri-State area. They cannot just walk into that bigger station and then promote their album, promote their uh, music. So that's why Yak Radio. That's where Yak, Yak Radio success come from. Local artists, uh, we have um, Safari, um, he was one, and uh, you have Young Ma, uh, has the first interview on Yak Radio, she, she has her first interview on Yak Radio, and we also have IOJ, IOJ that, um, that was his very first interview was, was, was on Yak Radio. So like, no, that's what I'm saying, like, no, we're trying to bring the local artists up, provide that platform for them. And also the show Money and Violence, Money and Violence, they had their first interview on Yak Radio, Money and Violence. Yes, 
Um, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's for the local businesses. Um, you can find Yak Radio on any social network. And uh, Yak Radio is also on um, Google Business as well. Uh, you can find all of our information from phone numbers to address and um, uh, IG, Snapchat. We pretty much everywhere. Yak Radio, w the word Yak stands for your area code radio. No matter where you, you're at in the world, you can actually listen to Yak Radio. And the future for Yak Radio right now, we just want to keep promoting the local business and local artists, like, you know, of all kind, all background. Um, it doesn't matter, like, you know, if you do hip hop, compa, soca, uh, zook, we do, we do everything. Like, you no, know, the door is open to anybody that want to come to.